Greetings folks, it's October 18th and I am going to be camping overnight here at Doran Beach. I have my van and I'm doing some solo camping and I thought I would show you a few of the gadgets that I like to have with me. Let's take a look. I decided I was hungry and I kind of knew I would be when I left and this uh, food that I've had warming up, and I'll show you how I do that, has been warming up for about an hour and a half. So let's go see these two gadgets. This one here is the trucker's lunchbox. I don't know the real name for it, but it heats foods up like, um, like an oven would, kind of. And it is 12 volt and that plugs right into my 12 volt lithium power pack battery it's a Sawaki. i've got my silverware ready and a little bit of sauce that i'm going to put on the food let me show you how this works okay i just looked a little closer this is called a coolatron and it's a sort of a trucker's lunchbox i guess and I noticed it is drawing, right now it's drawing about 41 watts of power. Uh, I've seen it go up to about 44, 45. And when it you initially plug it in, it draws a little more than that. So just so you know those things. I've unplugged it and let's see if the food, oh, I can tell already it's nice and hot. I made this at home early this morning so I have my own food here. These are some dumplings from Trader Joe's and at the bottom I have some vegetables. I added a little bit of sauce and I took out the little pan that it's in and I'm going to chow down. Back in a minute. Mm, okay that was really good. It was nice and hot. Plenty hot and just so you know that little luncher's or um, trucker's lunchbox takes the place of me having to fire up the propane and cooking outside you know i could heat something up in a pan that would be fine mm -hmm. but having that portable power pack and that 12 volt lunchbox is very handy so that's not to say that i won't be using this propane little stove tomorrow tomorrow morning i probably will the propane is a lot faster. It'll heat things up much more quickly than this will. Okay, here it is the next morning. I'm at my campsite and I am using my single burner propane stove. And man, it is working so fast to boil water. And I'm going to make a quality cup of coffee. <laughs> As I mentioned in a previous video, and I'll put a link to that above here, um, this is probably one of my favorite contraptions, this 12 volt cup that heats up hot water and I just simply plug it in to <laughs> my Suwaki lithium battery. That's when I'm in the van. It does take a while for that to heat up, so you have to be patient. And if I'm not that patient, I can use this while I'm in the van. So that is also 12 volts. So you plug it in to the battery, put it in the water, and that heats up very quickly. Okay, so what do you do if you have no electricity, even in the form of a battery, and you have no propane and no way to heat up hot water? Well, you get one of these, a solar cooker, it looks like a thermos and these wings open up to catch the sun. I just poured a little water in there and I'm gonna see how long it takes to heat that up right here in the sun. I've positioned it now to catch the full rays of the sun coming in that direction. Okay I'll get back to you when I see how long that takes. And while I'm waiting for that water to heat up, I thought I'd mention another gadget that I really like and really appreciate when I'm out camping. Um, and that is my hotspot. This is the hotspot. Turn it on, sync it with your cell phone 
for Wi-Fi if you can't get Wi-Fi easily in an area. And as a matter of fact, here, we don't get Wi-Fi at all unless we have some sort of hotspot. Now, of course, you can still get your cellular service here, so that helps, but sometimes you don't want to use that. You want to use Wi-Fi. Um, the other thing I use this hotspot for is my uh, laptop computer to get on the internet out here. So I have all the conveniences of uh, outdoors, uh, outdoor internet while I'm camping with this hotspot. One of my number one gadgets. Okay, it is 50 minutes later and the water is hot. It's not boiling, but it's hot enough to uh, make another cup of coffee. Also to let you know, the sun is a little bit filtered through some clouds today and I did not fill it all the way up, only about halfway. Okay guys, that about wraps it up for my little gadgets overview. I'd like to know what your favorite gadgets are. Oh, let me just tell you what I'm doing here. <laughs> just for fun, sometimes I'll take some uh, time and paint some rocks. Some are keepers, some I give away as gifts, and some I put out just for others to find in a random way. They're called kind kindness rocks. Okay, you've probably heard of that. All right, guys, I'd like to know your favorite gadgets, or at least some of them. And uh, I would love to be educated on some very helpful things that you use when you're out camping. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.